Okay, t-shirts, bike rallies, bike runs, admin, except garage. Everything except garage. So welcome back to Delboy's Garage. See you in a minute. Okay, I just thought it was well overdue we did something on the Bandit of Doom. Honestly, we've been pinned up against the wall with t-shirts for two weeks. Before that, we had uh, the, the ride the, the ride of the year with all the Idiot Collective. Before that, we had the Bulldog Bash. Before that, there was something else. And before that, something else. Honestly, the poor old Bandit just almost got forgotten. So a project like this is the sum of its parts. Obviously, there have been separate jobs. I just want to do a little something more on the Bandit. Honestly, this week is 10 till 7 p.m. shifts. So starting in the morning at 10, uh, what's the time now? It's just, under, just before 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. and we've got two hours and we've still got to pack some t-shirts tonight and send more t-shirts out. So I just wanted to put two hours into the band. I just want to do something. I haven't touched this thing for weeks and weeks and I just want to do something. And the thing that came to mind when I was going to work today was a chain guard. Now, if those of you who've got um, your own projects, you'll know possibly that you do need a chain guard. Chain guard is a legal requirement for MOT and it's also a sensible requirement if you're going to ride up the road because not only does a chain, chain guard, chain lard? What's a chain lard? <laughs> it's because we're hungry. It is hungry, that's what it is, yeah. Um, chain guard doesn't only stop the chain lube going all over you, it also stops if the chain parts itself, it stops it wrapping it around your left femur which can really spoil your afternoon. So what I'm going to do, um, because the chain guard for this I took off the long swing on, y'all remember, and I put the standard swing on back in, albeit a little raggedy, and this has got the two lugs there which hold the chain guard. But the standard chain guard, I gave it to a mate of mine called John, and he put it on his bike, so I haven't got that now, so that's cool. So I'm going to make one, but I already got one. Now, remember this. I don't know if any of you remember this. This was the old mudguard tail thing that we made for the bike in its previous phase two incarnation, and that side of it there, that big piece of steel, which I've double braced on the inside is the chain guard and that worked pretty well as a chain guard so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock that off because I don't need this I'm not going to use it this time it's redundant this was just a little souvenir kept up in the roof of the garage so I'm just going to lock this off extract that part and that's going to be the chain guard for the bandit do so stick around let's get the cutter out right feels good to have the cutter out again had disc cutter withdrawal ready Turn your volume down. <laughs> Switch it on first. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Dead end. Bit we want for a chain guard. Move that somehow in there. Ain't gonna be hard, is it? That's quite smart, really, isn't it? How hard can it be? How hard can it be, monkey boy? How hot can it be? <laughs> Ouch. Right, put this back out of the way. There you go. Perfect place for it. Right. Now obviously, prevent laceration of the dermis. Just gonna lob them tops off. Oh. Right, ready. Flat disc. Oh, I haven't got any Eltons on. No Eltons. What no Eltons? Whoops. There you go. Like it's off. Ready, steady.
Jørgen. Pardon? Hey. Pardon? I can't right. hear you, I've got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I can't hear you, I have safety glasses on. <laughs> right, now that's a little bit cockeyed, and I think that was from the weldage, so I'm just going to bend it straight. Stay there. I need a cleaner. Right, let's scrape some of the crap off it first. Can't beat a wire mop for cleaning off rat bite crud. Here then, just the wire flying about. Right. Just a little clean up. There we are. That are clean. Now it's got a bit distorted over time. We'll just block it back in the shape of it. This is a good test of the welds along there if you need them, isn't it? Mm. That's about as straight as it needs to be. Incidentally, that is an old uh, filing cabinet runner that the drawers run in. So it's pretty strong old stuff. It's kind of made out of mill, mill and a half thick stuff with all those rods on the outside, which are just a decoration. Anyway, let's have a little offer up. So it looks like. That's in the job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should look the part, shouldn't it? Yep. So we're better than the standard one. So all I've got to do is drill through there and that's going to go right through that rod so I'll just take that out let's get a mark on that sharpie I'll get the sharpie okay that's roughly there so from there to there I need to just remove that rod because I'm going to drill right through there that's where it's going to bolt through that rod's in the way. We'll just take that piece of the rod out. Good to be back to a bit of fabrication, eh, Ben? <laughs> I like girly things like painting, colouring. Well, you can paint it for me. Let's just hold it on the bench. Say firing it across the workshop. And the box. <laughs> right, my new ears. Oh, I think. Dentist, <laughs> Hold still, Ooh. this won't hurt a bit. Right. There we are, perfect in one day. Now what we need to do is mark where to draw the hood. Okay. Right, on this one, there's a whole dredge. And we use a little sharp scriber because I can't see the notes. Actually, I'll take one dip. Right. 
Good enough, there it is. Can I hold that? Ready? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's it. With a hickory stick. Now both of these are M6 threaded and I'm going to bolt from the inside so I don't need the threads in them. So I just want to top them out so they are now complete clearance holes. Right, here we are. Just loose fitted. How's that? A great pen? Hmm, Not cool. touching? No. A decent quality chain guard, proper beef. It's only loosely done up in a minute because it all fits, all the holes are lined up. All I've got to do is one more little spacer in there to get that exactly over the chain, just one more in there, and then do the whole lock nut up with some Loctite when it's done. But before then, obviously, it's got to be painted because it's going to match in with this. So, the first thing with this is a coat of black, and let that dry, and then we can do the same old thing as we did before with the tank and so on. So let's get it off, get it cleaned up, ready for paint. Okay, time for paint. Reach for the matte black. A couple of stand pots. I think the uh, quick coat on the inside first. Just literally coat that up. And then, now what I'm going to do this for, I mean it would look great like that, in fact, actually, that looks perfect, doesn't it? Just mm. like that, a right sort of rat bite patina, but it's mm. silver, it won't stay that way because it's mild steel. So, coat the matte black into it. And then we'll do the silverage, the pen is creative side coming out again. Go. See, that's much neater. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's not what I had in mind. Get that over there, nice and wet, so it's all going to scuff up. Right, let's give that about 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes to flesh off. A cup of tea, Ben? Yeah. I need a cup of tea. Yeah. Don't Just going into this while it's a bit damp. So it kind of grays in with it. dry brushing or dry scrimming. <laughs> You'll probably tell me how to do it in a minute, Ben, right before. <laughs> really rag rolling. That's it, scrim rolling. Hmm, suitab suitably blendaged. Blendaged? Hmm. It's what you well grasp on. Right. There we are. Tough old chain guard, eh, mm. That is tough, baby. Okay, this was literally just an hour in the garage just to make something for the project, which has been severely neglected with all the t-shirts, which means t-shirts, right. Thank you so much for the t-shirts. Honestly, we are astonished, aren't we, Ben? 
We are. It's gone so well. Oh my god, Amazingly. it's going mad. As we said earlier, we've been pinned up against the wall with these t-shirts for four days now. Every single night there's 20, 30, 40 more orders and that is astonishing. Thank you so much. Really, really from the bottom of our hearts. We had no idea how much love there was for this channel and we are astonished, aren't we? We are. Our ghastly is flabbered. <laughs> Okay, so obviously there are limited sizes left. We've got mostly large and extra large left over of the big design and the Monkey Boy t-shirts. And the reason for that was they're the ones we ordered the most of because we thought they would be the most common. Now, they have gone well. There are a fair few of those left. So if you would like uh, anything like a medium or a small, we just haven't got them left. They've all sold. We got 20 of each of those and they've all just gone. We must have done something like 200 orders so far. It's been that busy. So with what's left, we consider the best way to do it is this. If you still want one and you haven't ordered one yet, email Penny and she will work a plan with you, won't you? I'll tell you what's left or if you tell me what you want, I'll That's confirm it. it's available. Email us on this email address, which is the same email address as the PayPal address, so it's not difficult. And let us know what you want. Let Penny know what you want and she'll tell you if we've got it. If we haven't, what's the alternative? The alternative is going to be if you'd like to order a certain t-shirt, you haven't got it. If you haven't got your t-shirt, you should have had an email from Penny already. What we're going to do is now we're getting into the hoodies. We've got it planned. We've got one design of hoodie planned. We'll come closer to it and tell you more about it when we get there. We're going to go with zip-up ones so they can be worn over things, winter time, that sort of thing, and a really good quality. One thing that we have had is great feedback. Um, a panel backed me up on this, is the feedback about how good they are. I think mm. we were impressed. The quality was important to us. We wanted to give you a good t-shirt for your money, something that showed it was worth what you were spending not just some cheap piece of tat and it's so easy these days with t-shirts to end up with something that's not very good so they're a good t-shirt and you're very happy with that and that's what we were chuffed with and i think we're going to do the same aren't we babe with mm -hmm. the sweatshirts as well yep. so we're going to give it a really good quality item for the money and we're hoping to try and pin them in as i said we've got to negotiate with this guy we're going to try and pin them in about 25 26 pounds hopefully now yep. if you've got an order for a t-shirt and we don't have it in stock penny would have emailed you already if you fancy a hoodie instead, we'll keep that credit against the hoodie and we'll just pay the difference. Alternatively, as I said, let us know what you want. What was the next way? That was it, really. That's it. Yep. Excellent. Thank Chain you guard. very much. Chain guard. Bit more on the project, 21. So that's, I think, the traditional ending is. Thanks for tuning in and watching episode 21 of Delbert's Garage Project Bandit Phase 3. Ride safe, take it easy, and we will see you for the next one. Right. Just fine-tuning that little... That sort of contrived silver and black thing again. My drain pen done. Yep, more than that. Let's do it later. A bit of road dirt. We can let uh, we can let dirt and miles finish that off. Right there we are. Now uh, that brings us to t-shirts. Just finally, thank you so much. Honestly, thank you so much for the amazing response, A pen. It's amazing. You have kept That's us. It. Literally pinned up against the wall for a week with these t-shirts. We thought we would get maybe 20, 30 orders for t-shirts over the course of a week. We had 110 in the first day, we had about 80 the second day, and it's chicken over at about 20, 30 a day now, and we are almost out. We have limited sizes left. We bought just under 300 t-shirts, and we are down to about 60, aren't we? Yep. Now, what we've got left is extra large and large, just the big bulk sizes. We bought kind of 50 of each of those because we thought they'd be the middle ones. It seems they kind of have, but we just had so many. We've got them left. We, we prepared well on those. Things like smalls, double XLs, honestly, we are out. We're finished with those. We haven't got any left, I'm afraid. So if you have an interest in an order, if you haven't ordered one yet and you want to get one, just email Penny at this address, the same address as goes. Don't send the money. Just email Penny and tell her what you want. She will tell you whether we've got it. If we've got it, then your order can be paid for and we can send it out straight away. We're usually trying to turn these around in a couple of days, a couple of working days. Mm -hmm. And if that's not what's going to work, if we if you send an order, if you've got an order in and we haven't got it, Penny would have already contacted you. Have you contacted everyone so far? Yeah, I've contacted everybody today. Everybody's been contacted and you should already have the options, option one, two and three. The option quite simply is have something else from what we've got and she's given you options. Option two is to just keep your money on file until we do these hoodies and the hoodies are right there, they're next aren't they? We've yeah. spoken to the t-shirt guy today and he's got the hoodies available to him. He can get them within three, four, five days and depending on what sizes we need. Now we know the demographic of sizes now, so we should do these a little bit easier. What we're going to do with the hoodies is we're going to do them paid up front. We're going to do them ordered first and then we're going to get them. So when you order a hoodie, it will take, I would imagine, about two weeks before it comes, purely because we don't have the capital to put into two or three hundred hoodies we honestly don't the t-shirts that bulk order cost us enough money to buy a nice bike honestly it was a big investment out of savings to get them all bought and that thankfully has pretty much all come back in now now we 
the hoodies are a little bit more money. We haven't got the money to do that with those and I don't think we're going to get as many. Lots of you want them, but I don't think we're going to get as many orders as we did t-shirts. So there'll be orders up front and I'll do a proper video for them. I'll get one to show you what they're going to be like. Um, we're going to have a zip up one instead as well rather than a straight pullover one purely because I think they're a bit more practical. They're great for the winter and the general feedback is that that's what people want. So in a roundabout way, hoodies are coming. We reckon by the end of this month, September, what is it, the 10th now? So about yeah. 10, 10 days time, we'll start getting into ordering. We'll start preparing those. We'll prep those up. What we'll do is we'll put a video to tell you what we've got and what they're going to cost exactly. We'll pin this guy down to a final price and the sizes that are available. Once we've done that, we'll be able to give you the ability to go ahead and order. Once you make the orders, we'll get them printed up and get them out to you ASAP. Probably drop ship if we can. So that was it. What do you reckon, Pen? That's fine. Any problems, just email me and I'll deal with you direct. There you go. She'll deal with you direct. So you've been told. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is just a little bit more on the project. Honestly, we haven't done anything on this with the Ferrari over everything else, the Bulldog Bash before that, then the big ride we had last weekend. It's just kept us so busy, so away from projects. I just wanted to do something tonight and that's made me feel good just to make something. That was the old chain guard from the old uh, mud guard thing I did at the back and it feels good to use that. It's a nice bit of beef steel. It's got all those strength rods along. I think it looks good. Do you want AKA filing cabinet shelf. <laughs> Filing cabinet chain guard. You saw it here first. I don't think anybody else ever done that ever anywhere, have they? It's, this is a <laughs> world be that first. Mad, <laughs> right there we are. That's it. Thanks for tuning in and watching the Wise Garage. This has been Phase Three Project Bandit, whatever it all is. I don't know. Forgetting what it's called now. Ride safe. We'll see you next time.